what is up guys welcome to another gaming guy video and today we're going to be talking about forza rise of five but more specifically we're going to talk about the best controller setting that is very unique for manual users and it can work with pretty much any racing game that you can really think of so it can definitely work in forza horizon it could definitely work in forza motorsport and i'm pretty sure it's even worked in Code master with grid legends dirt rally um, i have also tried it in the for speed unbound and i've also tried it in the motor fest from ubisoft so this unique controller setting that i'm going to be teaching you guys and how to button map this it is so unique it's so different and trust me it's going to be 10 times better than you trying to press buttons to gear up and gear down usually they map the buttons for a and x this however we're going to do something completely different and it's going to actually save your thumb from getting cramped you know all the time and it's going to make your thumb your right thumb feel more relaxed so if you do enjoy this video and if you do like it make sure you like share comment subscribe to my channel and without further ado let's dive on in with the setting because let me tell you i've been using this setting since forza horizon 3. forza horizon 3. I've been using this setting ever since then. This will never change. And let me tell you, from the time from Forza Horizon 3 to right now, it is so good. Like, I will never change these settings at all. This is like a must-have for anyone that really likes to drive a manual, but also wants to feel more comfortable on your right thumb because I know a lot of times when you reach for these buttons it's usually going to be the A and X button right here right the A and X button that's where you usually reach the most you know you're clicking on those right and your thumb rests right here and it kind of feels cramp it feels very very cramp okay and we don't want that we want we want you to feel more relax in terms of driving and stuff like that so we're going to go into the settings right here and we're going to go and do some custom mapping to this so we're going to go to controllers right and then we're going to change input mapping and basically you could copy what you see right here but i'm gonna go over each and every one these are my settings and i'll highlight some of the things that are important what we're going to be changing here and what are we going to get rid of or unbound so let's start off with the first one right here which is rewind which i don't personally use but we have no choice but to try to map it in a button so i'm just going to put it for the y i don't really use it i don't really care about it right next acceleration which is the right trigger which is perfectly fine right the brakes is always going to be the left trigger which is fine and that's also reverse right we know the steering wheel you know left and right we got that down pat um this one active you know that's the view button you know that's fine um however when we change it for the e-brake we're going to put that as the right bumper so like the right bumper is for the e-brake and that's what we're going to do right so there it is so the right bumper right there for that which is right and then more importantly our shift gear right is going to be using this stick right here where i'm moving around the right stick okay the left stick is for turning our car left and right this one right here is for shifting gears it's better than pressing the buttons the buttons when you rest your thumb over the buttons it's you're going to have that crampy feel because you got to shift up quick shift down quick so you're pretty much cramping your thumb like 
put you know putting it in pushing it out pushing it in pushing it out it's gonna have that cramp feel you know what i'm saying and you don't want your thumb to be cramping up that's why we're going to use this right here to rest our thumb right on top of here right so we'll, we'll I'll, I'll explain a little bit later but hear me out for shifting up we're going to put that for down for shifting up right now to downshift, we're going to use the same thing, but we're going to go up for downshifting, right? Now, you could do with clutch. If you don't want to use clutch, you don't have to use clutch. You know, you can use just straight manual for this, and you'll be fine, which I use. But if you are planning to use crutch, right, then you just put crutch, uh, clutch for um, left bumper, which is right here, you know, left bumper. That'll be your clutch, right? And then switch camera. I'm going to put that towards B. Now, here's the other things that are important. Now, looking right, looking left, I just put the left one, which you click it down. So, like, when you click on the left button and then, you know, the right, that's how you look right and left. And then all you have to do is just unbound back and forward, right? That's what you need to do. You need to unbound this. And then I'm just going to put that right here. I'm pretty sure you can still unbound these. And you'll be fine. But just in case, if you can't, I usually just leave it like that. That will be perfectly fine. I don't care about looking back and looking forward. It's just a waste. I'm not, I don't want to control the camera around my car. You know, like again, this is for steering. This right here. I'm going to use this straight up for like shifting gears and stuff like that. I don't want to look around on my vehicle. I can care less about looking around my vehicle because the camera is just going to stay perfectly straight all the time. So then I don't have to see my car go all the way around like a 360, you know, it's just going to face straight, which is fine. Right. Everything else I unbound and then, you know, you could do the map, the horn, right? D-pad. So whatever you want to do with these, that's totally up to you. But the most important thing that we're changing is the e-brake, which is the right bumper, the shift right here. If you are planning on using clutch, you go use the left bumper for that. And we want to make sure that these right here are not bound to this right here. We're not going to bound these, you know, like using these right here. Like if I move up and if I bound it, that's what it's going to do. It's going to look, you know, look back, look up. We don't want nothing like that. We want this right here to be free from that camera because that camera is only going to face straight. And it doesn't like do a whole 360 looking around my car, which that is fine. I don't want that. So we want to keep that unbound, right? And if you have to bound these, just click it down which is fine because we don't need to click any of these buttons down anyway because we're just using this for steering for our car and we're using this to our shift that's what we want we just want up and down and then the rest is fine so now right once we have that all set now we can go into the game right and see what we did uh before we do that just to make sure, just to be sure, because I know I put the difficulty here that we're using manual. So again, if you're going to use with clutch, you can add clutch to it, manual with clutch, if you are planning on doing so. But I'm going to just use mine on manual. That's what I'm going to do. So that's my difficulty right there. Right. All right. So there's our setting right there. Right. So now, right, when we go right here, you can see that our camera is not moving around. It is perfectly straight. That's it. Because if we would have went with the old way, then you normally will look around with your, you know, look, you know, have this, like, look around your camera, look back and this way, that way. I don't want all that. I just want the camera to be focusing on straight. And that's it. And then we're going to use this as our shifting gear rather than using buttons you know what i'm saying using the buttons is not the way to go right we don't want to use that so we want to use this to shift our gears right so right we want to upshift a gear 
go down. And the thing is, the nice thing about this is the fact that you can rest your thumb right on top of this without even moving it. And you can still drive fast and all this stuff and use everything and rest it on top. And also on top of that, if you're planning to shift gear, all you have to do is just flick your thumb. Like if I'm going to shift it, right? If I flick the thumb down and then you let go of the thumb, like you let it go, it's going to go right into the center. Now, normally, right, in the game, they call it manual. Really, this is more like sequential shifting. You're basically turning your right thumbstick into a sequential shifting. It's not really manually, right? Because if you have a like an H pattern shifter, right, if you have like a whole steering wheel setup, you know, you're shifting like from one gear to another gear to another gear. You know, it's going up and down like an H pattern. Okay. This, however, is not really technically manual. We're really doing sequential. And basically what sequential is, basically, they make the transmission very simple where all you have to do is just put the lever down and then let go of the lever. And then the lever is going to shift the gear. And if you want to downshift the gear, right, you put the lever up. And then it's going to downshift the gear. It's just like, you know, how like when you have paddles and stuff. And like, again, even on this controller, you could even change it to do right and left. So let's say like paddle shifting, if I want to use this. So if I say, okay, I want to upshift, I go to the right. You know, my paddle to the right, I'm going up, right? And if I want to downshift, right, you go to the left. You know, paddle, you know, like the paddle shifters, right? But this right here, we're using more of sequential. We're just doing the knob up and down. So that's what we're doing. So basically, we turn this right stick right here. That pretty much we turn it into a more sequential shifting. So now I can shift quickly going up and down. You know, so if I could downshift, right, I can go reverse. I can go this way. This is one of the best ways to drive. To give you a demonstration, Let's go down to this hill and I'll show you how, how it works. Right? Got our brakes and our gas. So let's go for a drive. So you can see how I'm just shifting the gear, right? Hitting my brake, down shifting, down shifting again, shifting again. See, so basically we just turn it into more sequential. And you can see how I'm driving. And then, you know, my e-brake is right on top. See how I'm driving with, like, shifting gears, slowing down. Using the e-brake, right? Using the brakes. There we go. It's pretty fun when once you get used to this, like once you get used to the shifting gears like this, you'll never want to go back to pressing buttons ever again. You'll never want to press buttons ever again. Press it, pressing buttons sucks. But when you have it like this, it's like one less a piece of mind because once you sh flick it down, let it go, it's going to go right back to center. The only way you could downshift, you got to physically move it up and down. Which I'm doing with my thumb. I'm physically moving it up and down. There we go. Using the brakes. Shifting up. You could definitely quickly downshift very, very quickly, you know? So, like, if I hit this brake, boom, back to third gear, fourth, fifth. That means I can shift on a dime. Like, I can shift very, very really quickly. There we go.
There we go. I'm not really much of a drifter. I'm more of a speed drifter than anything else. Basically, I'm drifting somewhat, but also like doing four wheel drift, but I'm actually like speeding across like certain corners and stuff like that. Having that nice little race vibe to it and drifting where I need to be. You can see right now. Like you can you can become really, really good at this. If you actually practice every day with this, you can get really, really good. Shifting gears very quickly. That's how you know, man. When you see me doing this, man, I've been doing it for quite a while. Since Forza Horizon 3 to now. Perfecting the craft. This is nice. And there you have it. Ah, uh, damn. See? Perfection. See, that's sequential shifting right there. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Maybe I should try it in a more like racing environment just for just showing it off just a little bit to show you that even in racing, like not even just drifting, but even in racing, like is really, really good. It feels really, really good with this setup. And like, again, you, you, you can use this in even in dirt rally. So if you want to give it a try in like dirt rally four, if you do the same setup that I did in this one. Yo, you're going to be like, damn, this feels good. It feels really, really good. Trust me. Um, because I got everything turned off, like traction control, right? All that stuff is off. And this is just nothing but straight skills. There's no handicap, no nothing. It's like literally straight skills. So let's see in a more, you know, more in a racing environment, right? I want to see if we can do something like that, you know, right? Let me see. I think this is one. Um, I don't know. I think we should use a different car, huh? Should we? Yeah, might as well. I might as well do it in... One of my favorite ones. We could do it in this one. Actually, let's do let's do the skyline, right? The black sheep. I'll show you that even doing that with this is still good. Again, it takes it takes a it takes a maybe a little bit of time to get used to it. But once you do this, like mostly like every day, you get used to doing it. It just becomes like like nothing you know it's like second nature it's just it's so easy like you pick it up and you're like it's easy it's very very easy and again it doesn't cramp up your hands it doesn't cramp up your thumbs or anything like that and because your thumb is like resting right here so it, you feel more relaxed and more like in control in what you do you know so i'm gonna just show you in this quick example like let's say we'll, we'll do one lap like one lap around here Right. And we're going to put the difficulty setting right on pro. I'm going to leave it on there. And you can see all this stuff is off right here. Right. 
accessibility and all that stuff, right? So, that's how it's set up. I'm not going to tune anything because it's already tuned for it. I usually balance out my cars. So, I'm going to show you in this one lap how this works. So, if you hear some quiet moments, I do apologize. I'm, I'll be concentrating on stuff, but I will be talking here and there. But I'm going to show you in this video, right? And you can see the controller right there, how it works. So let's start this event. We'll do one lap. go. I'm going to slow down right here in this part. There you go. There's my black sheep going. Shift the gears. They're up ahead. So yeah, downshift quick, and then an upshift where I need to go. And if I feel like the turn is too tight, I do I let go of the gas pedal a little bit, and then I try to get down with the gas and shifting the gears in the right points. Oh, see, I could have easily get run off the road, but. not worried about it now here's the tricky part we know this right here coming up is going to be one of those drifting turns and stuff and they already try to run me off the road I let them pass that's fine Just because I lost a place, it's not the end of the world. I'm just being more patient. Just more patient. See, I see those two up ahead, so I know I'm just playing a little bit more patient. Go to the gas pedal a little bit, put a little brakes. See how he crashed? Boom. Make my pass, and that's it, and shifting gear. He may be pulling ahead, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Like right there, look at that. See that? Mm, got it done telling you this setup is one of the best shutups it's not manual no more it's, it's sequential I'm already catching up for those two so I'm basically on third third position which is fine See, you gotta slow down there. 
but I don't. And I already know this little part right here, I'm definitely going to be slowing down. I'm just going on the full max that I can, because they're going to slow down too. There we go. And then right here, I know they're going to be slowing down right at this point. They always do this at this point. And that's just going to give me a little bit of advantage. Now, right behind them. Now, this part is important. Trying to set myself up. Bam. Yep, this is how you concentrate. I only did a little bit of drifting, but... Since I'm dealing with pros, I'm just taking... I'm just using the road towards my advantage. He's trying to pull away from me, but I'm going to see if I can try to keep this position here. If I could just keep this position just a little bit more longer, then I might be able to pass him during like the second course of this. All I have to do is just keep my position where I'm at and just hold it. And you see, I'm not worried about anybody behind me, even if I see their lights. I'm not being aggressive to block. I'm just focusing on the road ahead. I'm just paying attention to the tail lights right in front of me. As long as I pay attention on that, I'll be able to catch up to him. And he's pretty fast. But I'm not worried about it. As long as I use the road... And I concentrate, I'm going to use it towards my advantage. And then I'm going to shift at the right point at the right time. Just being patient. Just being very, very patient. Just because I don't see the car now, that doesn't mean I know where it's at. Most likely, it's probably going towards the law straight away. On the bridge, when I get around this corner. And most likely, it should be... Right about where they're about to make that turn up ahead. That's where it is, yep. I already knew where, his, where that position will be. Now, in this part... They're, he's probably going to be slowing down at certain points. Oh, 
I'll have to do is just make sure I just follow the road and keep 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 clear of the danger. I have to slow down on that part. That's okay. I'm still doing good. I know at a certain point it's going to be a slowdown point. It'll be a little bit of that, but I can see it. I can see him right up ahead, just barely. Hopefully, I can pass him in this part, but. It's only a hope and a prayer. Because I know at this point, usually a lot of them slow down in this one. Yep. I may cannot catch him on this one. Probably, probably when I get to the other part of it. Just let the car slide around. see it a little bit. Put a little break to it. Alright. Seems like we're getting close. Because I know this part right here. Alright. I might have a chance. I might. I might have a chance. Nope. Messed up right there in that part. So I'm probably not going to pass him until if I do another lap. It's whatever. I still got 10 laps to go, so at some point, that car is going to screw up at some point. As long as I stay right behind him, I'm good. But I'm just showing you in this video that it's possible to really keep up and you can use this for racing because I'm just resting my thumb right on top of this right on top of this right trigger I'm resting it right on top of it so as soon as I'm ready to shift I'll shift boom and then just let it go like flick it down let it go that's it All right, I want to see if I could try to catch up to it. Damn, I said I want to do one lap, but I gotta, I gonna, I want to pass it. I want to try to pass it and go for first. Want to see if I can pass him. Yep. 
I don't know if I could. Because he's right behind me, too. It's like, he's right there. I just want to pass him, but... It might be that hill part. That's the only place that I could probably pass him. Yeah. It seems like that's the only place I could pass him. And I'm driving like all fucking reckless right now. Which I should not be doing, but... Eh, I give up. I'm probably not gonna make it. I mean, I'm not that far behind, but it's probably going to be not at this point, but I think it's right about here. At this point, I probably will pass him. But anyway, I'm just showing you it as an example. Like, you know, it definitely can compete in racing. If you practice enough with this, you can definitely use this for racing, and it's definitely is a lot easier than pressing buttons. And it feels really good, real comfortable in the hands. And again, it's not just Forza Horizon 5 you could do it. You could do it in Co-Master games like Grid Legends, right? Dirt Rally. Um, you could even do it in RK Racing um, if they allow you. Um, I'm pretty sure, like again, Motor, Motors, uh, Motorfest definitely can do it. Uh, I know Need for Speed can do it, and um, yeah, and some and the Forza Horizon series. So this setup is is a very unique setup, but it's very very good. I I love it. It's very very good. But let me know you guys down below what you guys think, and hopefully this will help you out to become even better drivers, and hopefully it will help you to have a little bit more comfort in doing your shiftings and gear shiftings and stuff like that so let me know give it a give it a try for yourself put it in the comment section down below if that helps you um and if you like the setting hopefully that does help you so make sure you like share comment subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace